our fifth class of our talk about Kosovans and how it happens. And we're having fun watching a spill of gasoline on top of the capillary fringe. And now we're going to make it a bit more difficult and see if, if we can improve even further the concepts that we've developed, we've developed first in, in our classes. Okay? So, we have here our spill from our previous class where gasoline sits on top of the capillary fringe right? and gasoline was, was dyed red so we could see. And now we're going we're gonna to use uh, ethanol. We're going to spill ethanol over a gasoline spill. Again, this experiment was presented thanks to Juliana Freitas, a former PhD student at the, student at the Waterloo, University of Waterloo. Okay. So, ethanol is going to be dyed in a different color, so we'll see what happens when it touches the top of gasoline. Remember, at this position here, we have mainly gasoline, which is a free phase. But at a given point here, we have gasoline residuals and you have water and gasoline trapped in the, in the region there. And then we'll have that partitioning and we're going to discuss a bit. And you have to make some, some exercise on your own, thinking of how this developed and how the dissolution would help spreading and dissolving the ethanol away from the zone of free phase and residual phases, okay? So, let's run the video so we'll have a feeling first and we'll talk about it in a moment. Okay? Next point is, what happens as this 
as expressed laterally here, it changes also the position of the, the, it lowers this position, look at that, it's lowering this as well. Gasoline lowered first, and now ethanol lowers even further. And why is that? Again, if gasoline was acting on, uh, on the interfacial tension, because first you had interfacial tension between water and air, and then you had, end up having an interfacial tension between water and gasoline. Now what you have is an interfacial tension that's something that actually we don't know exactly because it depends on the position of the tie lines of the mixture that happens at any given point here, right? We don't know if they're all the same composition, right? The, the gasoline phase and the water phase. But what we can uh, certainly uh, affirm is that the interfacial tension is lower, right? Because we've seen that in our graph of interfacial tension, how it decreases dram dramatically with the amount of ethanol. So, if interfacial tension decreases, the whole top of the capillary fringe also decreases. Why? Should we have only ethanol and we will have destroyed completely the capillary fringe as it happened here, right? It reached the top of the water table. But here, no. We still have a two-phase of the diagram and ethanol tends to still have a capillary fringe because of the two phases of the component. This is a long story and it's quite interesting how it works. Ethanol stands here and as we learned later by experiment and some other uh, researchers also uh, have the same conclusion is that since ethanol, although completely miscible with water and completely miscible with gasoline as it spills on top of the water table, or as we've seen here, on top of the capillary fringe, it lowers actually the capillary fringe. But ethanol would tend, because, of, because you don't have enough mixing, you don't have how to stir, right? It's, uh, the, the flow is it's very quiet in the, in the porous medium. What we have is that ethanol tends to stay as an immiscible fluid. Well, how we don't see that in a well when we pump it out, when we extract that by remediation? Well, but when you're actually adding a pump within the well, you're actually promoting the stirring, right? So you're stirring, you're mixing in completely. All you see on the surface is a single mixture. But within the porous media, on the side of your well, all you have it's a single uh, separation and you have ethanol sitting on top of the water as a free phase. That's quite interesting. Although a miscible free phase, by not having uh, a perturbation, uh, you end up not having mixing of that. Interesting. Recommend you watch that again and again. Thank you.